Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signor, and huge movie news breaking this morning. Both Deadpool 3 and Predator 5 have been apparently greenlit by Disney. They're both in the works. Uh, let's break both of these stories down. So first up, Deadpool 3, Marvel Studios, and Ryan Reynolds are tapping the Malo, Malau sisters to pen the sequel. Uh, I'm also hearing some other sources that they are planning to keep this movie rated R. Uh, as Disney continues to figure out what to do with the Fox properties, uh, Deadpool looks to be gaining momentum. Momentum. Sources tell Deadline that Wendy and Lizzie Malau uh, will write Deadpool 3 with Ryan Reynolds set to reprise his role as the Marvel superhero. Writer movies, uh, writer meetings have been taking place over the past months with, Ryan, with Reynolds recently meeting with a handful of writers to hear their pitches for the next installment. In the end, the studio and Reynolds saw the sisters take as the perfect fit for what they wanted. The film remains in early development, but the hiring of the sisters does mark the first step up in getting the next Deadpool film into production. This marks the first Deadpool film where Marvel Studios will work hand-in-hand with Reynolds and Team Deadpool. Fans are excited as Marvel Studios' uh, Kevin Feige's involvement, uh, seeing how he can help, uh, has, he obviously, his re revamped Spider-Man. Uh, Ryan Reynolds' return has many factors being worked out, but sources say the film is still expected to be rated R, uh, just like the previous two installments. It's also expected to have a new director, David Leach, who, held, who did the second one, uh, and uh, obviously, um, uh, what am I forgetting from Terminator Salvation? Uh, uh, he's, not, he's no longer uh, friendly with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, neither of them are coming back. Uh, it's interesting to say the door is open for Leach's return, uh, but it's unknown uh, what the, when the film will go production, if he'll have time. Uh, but given that he wasn't part of the writer search, it seems unlikely he'll come back for part three. Either way, the film is pushing forward. Uh, this will surely excite films. Uh, they had, The sisters had basically, they served as creator showrunners and executive producers for a new Fox show called The Great North. I didn't know this, uh, but they also were writers and executive producers of Bob's Burgers over on Fox, uh, which they won an Emmy for in 2017. Um, so uh, this is interesting. So we got that information uh, coming in that Disney finally, Marvel, allowing Deadpool 3 to happen and apparently keeping it R-rated. So color me intrigued. But that's not all. That's not all. What? That's right. Predator returning with 10 Cloverfield, Lane Helmer, Dan Trachtenberg at 20th Century Studios. Uh, so I love 10 Clover Cloverfield Lane, definitely the best Cloverfield sequel. Uh, and now he's set to direct the fifth installment of the Predator series with the script being written by Patrick Azan, whose producer credits included the Kingdom uh, series Kingdom and Jack Ryan and Treadstone. Uh, they're keeping the plot line and wraps for the moment, but I'm told it won't swing back into development. Uh, I'm told it won't swing back to the developments uh, in the most recent film Fox made its last entry in the 2018 thriller. That film was directed by Shane Black. Uh, so they won't, oh, I see, it won't uh, go back to um, uh, what the other one, it's not going to be, it's not connected. Um, so maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger can come back. Uh, Black played one that, do we have any information? No, there's no information about the plot. Uh, just that it's not going to swing back into the developments of the most recent film. So it's not a sequel to 2018's The Predator. We now have another separate, another relaunch. We had Predator, Predator 2, and then we went and did uh, Alien vs. Predator. So there was the first one with Dutch, then we had Alien vs. Predator, and then we did Predators with Adrian Brody, which I guess is connected, technically. Guess I was connected to the first two. Uh, and then we redid it again with The Predator, again, loosely connected. Uh, there were talks at the end of, pre of uh, The Predator to actually have some cooler surprises at the end. Uh, there were multiple endings that they were considering, one of which was going to have Dutch show up, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. He was going to show up. If you remember the end of The Predator, there's that thing that shows up, and they're wondering what's going to be in there. Uh, there was talk of a xenomorph being in there. There was talk of Ripley being in there. Uh, there were multiple versions that were... Uh, uh, on deck, but then ultimately Schwarzenegger passed because he thought it was too small of a role. So the fact that he passed on that because it was too small a role, there could be a version where Schwarzenegger's coming back for this incarnation with Dan. Now, again, I'm speculating. There's no confirmation of this, uh, and everything I've looked up, I, I, this all broke very quickly. Uh, there's no confirmation of what that plot could be, but the fact that Disney, let's talk about this, the fact that Disney is now finally gearing up 20th Century Fox it says a lot, right? Because this can't go on Disney+. Plus. Deadpool 3, if it's rated R, and The Predator, I would think even if it's rated PG-13, which it's not going to be, every other Predator has been rated R. So you got two rated R franchises that they're now kicking back up. Where are they going to put it? I mean, these are theatrical releases. I mean, granted, these would be years from now. These would be a couple years at least for them to come out. So 
I would hope, <laughs> let's hope theaters are open in a couple of years. We're talking 2022. Uh, so maybe they're just wisely planning ahead to say, look, let's get this all on deck. I still hope at some point Disney Plus wises up and opens up that catalog from Fox, Predator, whatever. Give us a Predator series or an Alien series. Give us stuff that we can actually, as adults, be excited for on the Disney Plus app. I, who, who cares about Hulu? Hulu is... I mean, a lot of the shows on Hulu that I used to watch, Rick and Morty, South, they're all on HBO Max already, too. So all, the, anything that Hulu did have as sort of exclusive is now gone. Disney needs to figure out how to incorporate these R-rated franchises, which, thank God, they're working on. They need to figure out how to get them over on Disney Plus in some shape or form somehow. Uh, now, uh, will they? Who knows? But the fact that uh, they're dropping this news, the fact that 20th Century Studios... We got, can't, I keep calling it Fox. 20th Century Studios is actually developing these two films. I say, cool. And, and come on, Dan Trachtenberg, that 10 Cleverfield Leon was, was great. Uh, I think I'm excited to see what he can bring to this franchise. I was excited when Shane Black came back to this franchise. However, I think all of us were sadly disappointed. I, I thought the first half was better than the second half. What did you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Uh, should, should they continue any of the previous Predator themes, or should we just start all over again how should we start predator 5 i'm sure it's not going to be called predator 5 that's just obviously it's the fifth predator film they've made so what are your thoughts there and then wrapping this video up since it's two stories with deadpool 3 with the writers of bob burgers now bob's burgers on board and kevin feige's involvement in an r-rated film this is a big deal this is a big deal as well because this can mean deadpool's now in the mcu it means unless they try to make this a 20th century studios separate piece it doesn't matter it's still gonna have that marvel stamp on and feige's gonna be involved does this mean we can finally have disney marvel have some r-rated properties if deadpool 3 can sneak through creatively and funnily and be rated r then what's to say something else in the marvel catalog can't be rated r the, this is big news, guys. The fact that Disney is finally allowing these two R-rated properties to come out, granted, through 20th Century Fox. I mean, this one's going to be through Marvel Studios. But I wonder if it gets the, uh, you know, the, Disney, the what's this called? Uh, 20th Century Studios banner. Uh, where do you put this? You get, you're going to make a Deadpool movie and you can't, your streaming service can't even have it on it? It makes no sense. Am I, am I, am I crazy? Do you guys really think Disney can't figure out a way to age gate and put all these properties on there so we can finally start getting different types of stuff than, than high school musical shows and Olaf shorts on Disney Plus? Because I'm getting kind of sick of them. Uh, but Deadpool 3, I'm glad to see the character's not done. I'm glad to see they're going to go somewhere else. I'm curious to see what that plot is going to entail. Which one are you more excited for? Deadpool 3, Predator 5? I'm guessing Deadpool. Uh, but are you excited that Disney and 20th Century Studios are finally opening up? Up that catalog and breaking some of that stuff out i want to hear all your speculation down below let's talk about it and if you haven't yet subscribed here for breaking movie news and all, all cool pop culture takes make sure you do hit all alerts smash that like button and leave a comment to create engagement make sure to also check out these videos there's lots to do you can do to support here on popcorn planet and stay tuned for some more awesome videos thanks everybody